Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to port forward your Minecraft server. Now if you missed my tutorial on how to set it up, go ahead and click the panda. They'll hold you hand in hand and walk you right over to that video. And uh, he's in the bottom right screen, he's just chilling there, eating some bamboo. And uh, he'll, he'll be waiting for you to click on that link. Now, um, port forwarding, let me just explain it, is a way for other players to connect to your server throughout the world. It doesn't matter where they are, they'll be able to connect as long as they have Minecraft accounts and uh, all that good stuff so and of course an internet connection that's required as well um, but if you're watching this video you probably have an internet connection I'm assuming alright so um, here we go so if you have any problems well you know I'll hop to that later so uh, let me just close my Minecraft real quick alright there we go now what you're first need to, gonna do is go to start now if you're on Windows 7 you can either search run or if you're on Windows XP you can click run um, then you need to click C or type in CMD and then click OK. Now it'll bring up this window. Now for me, part of this is going to be blacked out, only because it's to protect my information and uh, you know whatever. So what you need to type in here is IP config, then click Enter, and um, now it'll come up with some information about your computer. It'll come up with um, your kind of modem, or maybe it, it comes up for my kind of modem at least. Um, it'll come up with your IP address. Now this is your internal IP address. You pretty much don't want to give this to anyone. Um, your subnet mask, which we will not need to use in this video, and your default gateway. Now the one thing we're first going to need is our default gateway. So what you can do um, is go to um, uh, Google Chrome or whatever, and then I'm just going to type in my default gateway right here. This is going to be blacked out, but uh, whatever. All right, so let's go there. And of course, this information over here is going to be blacked out as well, just to protect my information again. Um, now, if you're having a little problem with this part, you can visit this site, which will be in the description, and it will tell you, uh, and it'll go more in depth for each modem you have. Now, they have probably at least a thousand modems on here, if not more. Um, so it's a great site, and I highly recommend you. Um, go check it out if you're having any problems with this. It'll be included in the description. As you can see, here's Dynex right here. I don't, I'm not sure which one, so I'm just going to click one. Um, and then uh, click here to skip advertisement. So you pretty much just find your modem in there. If you don't know what kind, look on your modem. It probably says somewhere. Um, now, if I'm saying modem and it's a router, I, I apologize. I'm so sorry. Whatever. Um, now, here there'll be a whole list of games that'll put some more information out on the table. Now these are for PS3, this is for Xbox, this is for PC, so we're going to scroll down to the M section right here and find Minecraft server. Click on that and then it'll put you step by step. Now this is, isn't mine actually, but it'll put you through step by step of port forwarding for your individual modem. But I'm going to do a video tutorial for the pretty much the basics. So check out this site in the description. It'll help you a lot if you're having problems with this little section. All right, now I should probably, well, whatever. All right, so let's go back here. Again, this is all blacked out. Um, now I'm going to click virtual servers, but it'll actually tell you um, which one. If you can hear a plane, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, now here, this is blanked out, this side right here. Um, but anyways, right here, we have Minecraft server, Minecraft server. Now port forwarding is not too hard it's kind of daunting when you're first getting into it but I'm, I assure you I can port forward within seconds now no joke because I have done it so many times I can make a server within minutes um, so uh, right here minecraft server um, now um, you can title this whatever you want and if there is a check mark right here you need to make sure it's checked off this just means if it's enabled or not it says right up here description right here it doesn't matter this is just for organization inbound port right here now first things first if there's a little drop down right here which there I'm sure there is um, and if there's only TCP and UDP you'll have to repeat this process twice only changing the TCP and the UDP now if there's a both you'll only have to do this once as you can see I have two right here and one's a TCP and a UDP because I don't have the both option but if there's a both you'll only have to do this once just click both for inbound port put 25565 um, and for um, private port put 25565 right here um, which is the port it'll say in your um, thing but you shouldn't change that I don't know I've never changed it before and I don't recommend you do I don't know how it works um, and 
happens, then your IP, of course, goes here. It might be a little changed. Of course, my IP is blacked out just for my safety, but whatever. So we'll close that now. Um, I should probably close this as well. It's probably blacked out here as well. We'll close that as well. We'll go into Minecraft. Well, of course, you'll have to run your server um, whenever you want people to be able to connect. And now we're it's to find the quest of what our local or our external IP is. So let's go back onto Google Chrome or whatever your browser is. Type in what's myip.org. Um, my ha, that rhymes. Um, and here's your your external IP. Of course, you can see it because it doesn't matter who you give this to. So let's, as you can see, I already have that put in there. So paste that in or type that in do a semicolon 25565 which is your port you'll have to give that to people and there you go now as you can remember on my last world I am running my tutorial video and as you can see I have essentials turned on so um, it'll tell me who's online um, some information about essentials if you have any messages or not and all that good stuff now if you have any questions go ahead and send me a personal message or leave a comment in the description again Go check out that one website that I mentioned previously. It'll help you with your modem. I'm sure it's on there. Um, if you only know the basic information about, um, like the basic name of your modem, search through all the kinds or ask your parents if they set it up. Um, and if you're missing a password, ask your parents if they set it up. Ask whoever who set it up. And um, that's that. If this helped you, go ahead and leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'll have a contest coming soon, probably for, I don't know how many subs it'll be, but it'll be a contest. You can either win Terraria or Minecraft. So that's always a good thing to look forward to. So if you want to um, stay in tune with everything that I'm doing, subscribe. And that's it. And uh, if this helped, um, I hope it did, of course. And, uh, you know, that's all. And I'll see you guys later. And say goodbye, Wolf. So goodbye. Again, click the panda. He's there to help. Um, he'll bring you over to my other um, tutorial on how to actually make the server. Look at look at all this fancy stuff. Look at look at all this stuff I made. Oh man, so cool. That's all, folks, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.